in a few moments. Uh, Ishtbet Singh. Ishtbet Singh will be with us here in a few moments. We're going to be talking about handbags and his handbags. Ishmet. I think that's how you pronounce his name. We'll find out. We're going to pull him up on the old Skype. Which, by the way, I absolutely hate Skype. But we're going to see what we can pull up here. There we are. How are you, sir? Hi. Hi. I'm good. Now, uh, t- uh, I want to make sure before we get going, uh, I want to make sure that I get your proper pronunciation of your first name. Is it Ichmet? Uh, Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Okay. See, I don't have problems pronouncing people's names. We'll tell Jerry Collins <laughs> that. Now, uh... <laughs> Now, uh, Ishmet, tell us a little bit about your brand. You've got some incredible, incredible handbags. Tell us a little bit about these. Okay, so my brand name is High on Leather. You can check out highonleather.com. Okay. Uh, it's a unique marketplace for people who wants to buy leather bags. And also we have sellers from across the glo- globe selling in uh, on our website. So... This is it. Like uh, we are selling leather bags comparatively cheaper than the marketplaces, and cheaper than eBay, Etsy, and Amazon as well. Good stuff. We've got uh, Ishmet Singh with us today, talking about his handbags. Now, um, how did you get the idea to uh, to to do these handbags? What was the idea behind these? Okay, so uh, earlier when I was working last year, I was working with a firm. Uh, digital marketing company and when I was roaming around in local markets of Rajasthan I found these new leather bag that I saw online which were really of good cost and online they were quite expensive and I always want, wanted to get one and then I realized that they were also made in India so I thought let's why not start off my own and why not start my own brand with leather bags and that's how I came up with the idea of uh, selling these leather bags. And uh, soon I tried to uh, upload my products on Amazon. Facing problem with uh, Amazon, then Etsy. And so I decided that I'll include other services as well. And yes. start my own marketplace instead of e-commerce website. We've got a uh, great guest with us today. Ishmet Singh joins us here on a broadcast. His brand is highonleather.com. It's a unique marketplace for leather bags. That's highonleather.com. Check it out today, highonleather.com. We'll even spell it for you, H-I-G-H-O-N-L-E-A-T-H-E-R.com. Now, um, the idea of selling... Leather bags. Uh, this th- th- this is a uh, a really cool concept. We're talking a little bit about that earlier. Um, how come you get your bags so cheap? Okay, so uh, we are not exactly approaching the famous dropshippers around the world. We are approaching only local artisans who are making really good stuff with full green leather bags, like they are made of pure leather and the best leather, not the bonded one, the full green leather bags, but they are not aware of the concept of how they can sell it, except the city, how they can sell it online. So just like India, we have approached uh, artisans from Korea as well, from US as well, who are not much into online selling. They don't know how to uh, upload their products on eBay or Etsy. So we talk to them, we check the samples, they send us sample. We've been talking to them, checking their photography. We did some product photography, and that's why uh, all our sellers actually they are local artisans, and they are being paid very well, and they are selling the products in quite cheap rate compared to, to other brands. We've got uh, Ishmet Singh with us today. He joins us live here on Skype, talking a little bit about highonleather.com. That's highonleather.com. For the people in the cheap seats in the back, highonleather.com. Now, why did you choose to start without an investor? And uh, you, you basically have an approach. Tell us a little bit about this process. So uh, last year, we, uh, we started. 
we started as a startup itself but uh, when it comes to it, so we uh, did a little but this part when it comes uh, giving the equity of our profit and giving the half of the company i was not quite comfortable with that i was uh going the website was going good the profit margins were going good and everything was increasing uh, like day by day or month by month so we still decided that we can even hire employees of our own without investment because uh we didn't require that much to start an online business as i was uh, i knew how to design the website i knew how to uh, do the digital marketing and take care of the marketing stuff i knew how to approach uh, leather bag dealers and how to get the bags so uh, we started like that only and now that we are in good position so we are good to go with the employees and all We've got uh, Ishmet Singh with us today. He joins us live here on Skype. His website, highonleather.com. That's highonleather.com. Now, you're covering a lot of different countries around the world. Wh wh which countries are we covering with, with your bags? Okay, so uh, most of the orders we get is from uh, U.S. and Canada. But uh, we do have some good customers from Australia. Other than that, we have uh, shipping worldwide. Like most of the bags are available for worldwide shipping. So anyone who is interested in our bag can order from our website and shipping is free worldwide. Ishmet Singh with us today. He joins us here on Skype at 12 minutes after the hour, talking a little bit about his bags. Now, um, you, you, you've got this, uh, you, you're, you've got a lot of different things you're doing here. Um, you're only 22 years old. Tell me a little bit about some of your marketing and some of the different things that you're doing with your bags. <laughs> okay, so uh, right now I'm 23 year old and uh, we uh, are doing different kind of marketing. We are approaching our main target audience are from social media marketing. We have been doing uh, pin interest, Facebook marketing. Then we have been uh, doing SEO, a lot of SEO content writing. Now our main target is to get to the audience. We have been, uh, I mean, uh, audience in this uh, leather industry and leather bag industry, they are quite aware of us. Now we are approaching more into fashion industry and looking forward for brand branding. We've got a great guest with us today. He joins us live. Ishmet Singh joins us here on our broadcast. And uh, he has got this amazing highonleather.com. That's highonleather.com, 13 minutes after the hour. What are some of the reactions of, uh, of your customers when they receive the bags? Are they happy, my friend? Uh, yes, yes, of course. They are very happy. Uh, some of them are even uh, friends with me on Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. They keep uploading me the pictures when, whenever they are traveling. Some of those pictures, I use them in our blogs. I use them on Instagram as well. They are quite happy with the products. They are quite happy with the quality. Uh, when they earlier ordered the product, they were expecting a lot of like a lot of scratches on the bag or maybe smell like usually uh, people face on low quality products but they are quite happy because they got uh, really good products and very nice prices hello High on leather.com. Now, um, Ishmet, uh, before we let you go, my friend, um, wh mm -hmm. what do you have planned for high on leather.com? Okay, so our future plan goes like this. We'll be hiring employees. We have uh, we are completed with our office infrastructure and we'll be hiring our employees soon. We'll be doing much more into uh, paid marketing now. We'll be going towards uh, social media marketing, more into paid marketing. And we'll be approaching fashion industry more, more into fashion industry. Uh, plus, we have a great event going on in November, starting from November. And uh, we'll be preparing for that. Uh, that's a wholesale event in US. And uh, our details will be on our social networking sites on Facebook and uh, Twitter as soon as the event goes live. Well, good stuff. Well, Ishmet, I appreciate you making time for us. Thanks for staying up with us. I understand it's pretty late over there, but thanks for being with us today. Really appreciated the conversation, my friend.
Thank you. Thank you, Jackie. Definitely. Have yourself a wonderful day, my friend. We'll talk soon. Ishmet Singh with us today, and we're going to take a time out. And when we come back, we've got more coming up. Richard Kurtz from Strategies PR will join us in our fourth or our fourth hour. I didn't know we had a fourth hour. Third hour with Donald Mazzella. We've got more coming up.